Dennis Committee, and we have a big night of football ahead of us as the Swans and the Hawks prepare to renew acquaintances in what promises to be a cracker. It's good to be back. Boy, did I miss it here in Sydney. All in all, a good turnout for this particular match. When they talk about great Tigers, the man to the right of me was always on the shortlist. Welcome, Matthew Richardson. Right, Dennis, I've been anticipating this one all week. Even though it's an exhibition match, Dennis, we expect that both teams will want to win. A nice reception for the home team. The batters were players. The players get set to run through them. Toss of the coin. Hawthorne kicking to the right of screen. Just waiting for the opening siren now. Here we go. It's the Swans versus Hawthorne. Takes possession. He gains possession. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Strong mark by Smith. Too far out to score. Short. Sure, he's kicking on about a 30 degree angle, which could prove challenging. 
Clean pick up by Alia. Gets a handball away towards the man on the run. Timely handball. Sends it on its way. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Virtual with the kick. Hanabry from behind. Hanabry is just an absolute superstar when it comes to marking. He kicks the ball. Good mark. Puts boot to ball. He drops the mark. Ball is mopped up. He almost anticipated just where the pass was going and got there first. Burgoyne gets the footy. Puts power behind that kick. Strong mark there. Chips it down towards half forward. Marks. Puts good to ball. Caught. Hodge. Doesn't have the strongest marking hands in the league, but he's certainly very, very handy on the league. He marks the ball. Smith slams the ball to his boot. Rioli picks up the ball. McAvoy with the hit. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Gives it to Hodge. Rioli starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on so. Handballs from the tackle. Jack with the football. Franklin with the ball. Virtual intercepts it. Now that's just giving the ball away. Superb handball. Mitchell with the mark. A desperate kick there. Nice hands. Rioli. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Gunston kicks it, the mark will be paid. He kicks it long. McAvoy collects. He picks up the loose ball. Hodge gets a hard bump from Grundig tackle, but gets the handball off. Has it now. Roost approaching home now. Rioli takes aim for goals. Oh, no. You've got nothing but sympathy for a man who doesn't score. Point the difference. disappointed with that effort. Looks like he'll go out wide. Cook Hodge lines it up. It's good to leather. Roost presents and takes the mark. He's luck with a shot at goal. Hawthorne had one to their tally. Roost kicks our first goal of the game. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. Roost loves that. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Nate Smith will give you a competitive contest in every hit out, I can assure you of that. But the midfielders are going to have to work really hard to earn the centre clearances off his ruck work. Jack picks up the loose ball. Gibson receives the ball. Gibson taken high and he'll get the free kick. Chips it down towards half forward. McAvoy claims the ball. McAvoy lets fly with a shot at goal. He's missed the goal. Hawthorne by eight points. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Aaliyah, it's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. McAvoy takes a great grab.
Voy taking aim. He's been told to play on. Gathered by Ruffhead. He grabs it on the run. Goal for first. Well, they've got that badly needed goal. Can they build on this? The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. Roost knows that was something special. All is in readiness. Great bounce. McAvoy aims for his man on the ground. Jack beats the hand pass out. Back from Kennedy. Approaching the goals now. A magnificent kick right through the middle. Bubble settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. What a timely goal. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. His face says it all. All is in readiness. Bounce goes the ball. Naismith without a touch. The clearance by McAvoy. Roost picks up the bouncing ball. Opportunity for Roost. 50 meters out. Roost taps the ball for goal. Every footballer scores better when he actually learns his capabilities. Hawthorne in front. Disappointing kick there. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Great grab over the top. Goes for goal. Sicily marks it. 45 metres out. A pretty safe bet from this position. Miss for the hard. The Hawks lead the Swans by 10. A little bit disappointed with that effort. Searching for his teammates. Strong man. Handball short. McAvoy pops it from behind. Jams it on the boot now. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested man. Picks it across the ground. Altitude with attitude. Roost taking aim. 40 meters from home. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. Only a mile. The Hawks just can't nail a goal. The Hawks lead Sydney by 11. Disappointing kick there. Aliyah. 
He's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. It's a mark. He lines it up with the goal. Rioli with the kick. Smith gives away the free. Push in the back. Little by McVeigh. Strong mark. McAvoy slams it on the boot. Simply outplayed the opposition here. Gunston will have to put everything into this one. Gunston shoots it. He holds his breath. That was a huge kick. Duncan Black would be happy with that one. Hawthorne in drops. Hawthorne could just find kick to kick out there and barely had to come a loose ball in the forward line. Well, I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Very happy with that kick. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Big thump from McAvoy. Grundy kicks it. Burgoyne has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. Burgoyne just has hands that are magical. He just takes the club so cleanly. He boots it. Hanabry marks it. He slams that on the boot. He wins the contested mark. Burgoyne kicks it. Pow with the catch. Low spearing kick. A rough hook. Hodge grabs that one. Sends the Sharon on its way. Rampy has it. Rampy is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Puts boot to ball. He takes a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Sicily takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. Gunston with great hands. 50 metres out. Gunston hammers the ball for goal. He got the confidence so wide right of the goal. The Hawks are having trouble with their misses. It's not the score he was looking for. Sends it into the open paddock. Nice interception. Takes possession. A great effort. Sicily getting into position for the kick. Fuopolo has somehow been able to find space for himself. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Handballs to the running man. The loose ball picked up. Gives it to the running man. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Amara has been told to play on now. Sends it on its way. Grampy really wears his heart on his sleeve. He boots it. McAvoy with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. That's a mark. Puts boot to ball. A clean pickup. Approaching the goals now. The long ball by Paris. This one gives them an even bigger lead. Who goes up with the Hawks? I gotta say that's even a better goal the second time around. Look at him. 
He really enjoyed that one. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Great bounce. McAvoy wins the tap. Terrible timing by Naismith. McAvoy knocks the ball loose with a big tackle. Passed by Hodge. Sicily doesn't want it. He hands it back. Intercepted by Burgoyne. Takes control of the bouncing ball. He had perfect control of the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. Far too many points racked up for just one match. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Alia has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Strong mark there. He kicks the ball. Jack catches it. Chips it down towards half forward. Nice mark under pressure. Distance could be the problem. Sends the Sharon on its way. Franklin grabs that one. Gives him a good drummer. Hits the running man. Squeezes out a handball. Smith sends the ball on its way. Solid catch. Handball finds Frioli. He spears the ball. Controlled by Canterbury. They've conceded possession. The running man missed the ball. He runs for home. Gunston throws the ball. Free kick. Smith puts it on the boot. Pointless attempt by Ruffhead. Aaliyah with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Intercepted. He boots it from the pack. Great mark under pressure. Sydney could take him plenty of marks, but they haven't converted enough into goals. That's why they find themselves trailing. Hodge with the kick. It's a mark. Heaney boots it. He grabs it. Sending it on its way. Great grab over the top. Amarit gathers. McAvoy can passes the ball to the runner going past. He's heading for home. Shot by Boost. Oh, he's put up. Oh, they're starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. He acknowledges the crowd. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Naismith taps it. Franklin made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Hits the running man. Annabry heads in for the goals. Annabry sinks it from a long way out. A much needed goal for the swan. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Annabry knows that was something special. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Intercepted by Jack. Hits the running man. McAvoy taps it. Hodge onto the ball. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. He handballs it. Grundy blocks it. Hanabry finds the handball. Nate Smith handballing to his own advantage. Kennedy dodges. He kicks to the lead. Strong mark there. Cunningham throws the ball. Free kick. 
Virgil slams it on the boot. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores are the Hawks 37, Sydney 12. The Hawks could be happy with the early scoreboard pressure they are applying to the Swans. They are setting the standard out there and it will be interesting to see how Sydney can come back after the break. Richo has some stats for us now. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contests. 22 to 21. The Hawks leading the kicking stats by a considerable margin on 50. The Swans behind with only 23 and may have a hard time catching up. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats. 28 to 26. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. and they're ready to start play again. Persistence can change failure into extraordinary achievement. Scoops up the ball. It's like he has the ball on a string. Tippett runs past and gets the ball. Tippett urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. 35 metres out. Gee, you wouldn't like this one here. The Swans need to halt their procrastination as they trail the Hawks 37 to 13. They'll be disappointed with that effort. Hawthorne have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery their forwards have been receiving, it's no wonder Sydney was starting to fall behind. Gibson with the ball. Smith gets cleaned up. Parker finds the running player. No chance of keeping up for Pilgrim. Franklin comes in like a wrecking ball. Crawley shoots off the handball. Advantage, play on. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Bodge handball short. Bump by McAvoy. Sicily controls. He's running hot, Richard. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. Grundy, I have no idea how you managed to get that out. It's impossible to outplay an opponent you can't outthink. Think about that. Gunston on the ball at the moment. He handballs it. He runs for home. Naismith gains possession. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Alua delivers a nice bump, but Roughhead dishes it off to the running player. A solid mark from Powell. Powell needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. He gets it under pressure. He slams that on the boot. Jack with the mark. He kicks the ball. The bouncing ball is controlled. Franklin is able to grab it on the half volley. It's like giving a bazooka to Mr. B. And it's close to goal as the ball goes over the boundary line. Trims the grass with that one. Patrick grabs that one. 40 minutes from home. Shot by Patrick. Cunningham takes aim for goals. Cunningham just makes the goal run. They're gathering some steam now. There's one for the time capsule. Cunningham knows that was something special. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Good tap from McAvoy, lucky bounce collected. Mason has the ball. He gets a fist to it. Kennedy with the football. Mitchell gets possession. Burgoyne approaching home now. It's two foot point. Disappointing kick there. Alia to bring it in. Nice work from Grundy. 
picks it. Hannibrick marks. Boots it. Free kick going to Birchall. A lovely drop back. A great effort. Low spearing kick. That's a fist to it. Mitchell can be aggressive, but his persistence and commitment really does need some work. He takes possession. McVeigh handballs to the man on the move. Grundy gathers it. Nay Smith has the football. McAvoy gets the bouncing ball. Mitchell by hand. Hodge heading for goal. Nice interception. Smith gets possession. Jack gets the ball. Smith gains possession. Smith onto the ball. He's got the footy now. Smith with the football. Burgoyne passes it. Gunston gets tackled down. The ball finds its target. Sends the Sharon on its way. Caught. Goes short for the hand pass. Nice interception. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Just in time with that kick. The opposition forgot about him, and he takes the easy mark. Sort of Just misses. The Hawks by 20 points. They'll be disappointed with that effort. Aaliyah assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Hodge gets the upper hand. Testing shot outside the 50. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. The ball knocked up. Aaliyah finds his man on the move. She's running hot, Richo. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Takes possession. Going for goal number two. It looked like a goal, but it plays the post. Franklin wastes the opportunity. Sydney need a score here. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Hawthorne have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery their forwards have been receiving. It's no wonder the Swans are starting to fall behind. He gathers up the intercepted ball. Nay Smith with the kick. Kennedy with the mark. He kicks the ball. He claims the ball. He plays it on. He boots it. Strong mark there. Sends the Sharon on its way. McVeigh grabs that one. He's a long kick. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Cunningham has the chance to add one more to his time. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. We'll be happy with goal number two. The Swans need to play on at all costs now and start getting some more running goals on the board. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Cunningham with the goal, and he runs back into position. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Claimed by Naismith. Controlled by Jack. Lovely hand pass hits the man. He's running hot, Richard. You right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. I would have expected him to nail that. Crawley waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Takes control of the bouncing ball. He has the ball. Gets a handball away. Has it now. Grundy manages to get the handball out of the pack. And he's heading for home. He has space for an easy mark. Franklin a long way out. Franklin takes aim for goals. Give him a run from the every time. 
Too true, Dennis. That was a simple kick. A little bit disappointed with that effort. Option here, the pinpoint pass is the key. And play is as high tech as it can for. Amaric bumped off the ball. Amaric feeds it wide. Bodge over the top. Hawthorne for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they? And they have so many quality kicks in the team. Hodge gets possession. Hodge has the football. Amaric racking up the possessions. Lucky bounce collected. He handballs it. He's had lots of touches this match. Sicily just nudges the post. Bad luck. The Hawks by two goals. A little bit disappointed with that effort. Aaliyah looking for a lead. He wins the contest. Grundy sends one up towards the wing. Caught by McAvoy. Hawthorne haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of the Swans. The mark will be paid. Puts power behind that kick. Kennedy did the catch. Kicks. Strong now. McAvoy going for distance. And the mark will be paid. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. He picks it up. Slips the handball to McVay. Gibson has had plenty of it, Richo. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. This should prove an easy angle for Cicero. Cicero drives the ball towards goal. Gaston intercepts it. Aaliyah for the short hand pass. Intercepted by Puopolo. Whack. Have that, mate. Ruffin grabs that one. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Tantalizing with cross. <laughs> Hawthorne with a handy break, leading the Swans 41 to 28. You'll be disappointed with that effort. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time Sydney stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. He gets it under pressure. Lloyd kicks the ball. Ruckhead heads in for the goals. Hawthorne getting some momentum back. The Hawks in front. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Ruffhead with the goal, and he runs back into position. All is in readiness. The bounces straight up and down. Naismith hardly provided a challenge. Jack with a short hand pass. Puts the head down as he runs in. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. We'll be happy with goal number two. A badly needed goal from Franklin.
like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. McAvoy punches it. Burgoyne comes away with the ball. He gets the hand pass. Kicks it. A clean pickup. Mitchell with the ball. He grabs it on the run. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Puopolo has it. Puopolo can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Nate Smith hands over the ball. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Roost takes the mark. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. Roost goes long and gets the goal. Hawthorne leads by 19. He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. Roost knows that was something special. All is in readiness. Bounce goes the ball. Punch by McAvoy. Grundy gets it on the bounce. Gets the ball free. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Strong man. 15 meters out. Ruffhead takes a shot at goal. Hawks lead the Swans 59 to 34. There's one for the time capsule. Ruffhead chose the goal and fired the right signal. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. There's the bounce. Nate Smith will give you a competitive contest in every hit out, I can assure you of that. But the midfielders are going to have to work really hard to earn the centre clearances off his right there. Sydney are in front. That replay shows just how good that goal was. You can see it on his face, he's happy with that effort. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. McAvoy timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Gibson puts it on the boot. Kennedy wins the marking contest. Gets boot to leather. Put by Franklin. A long way out. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. Has it got the carry? The long kick doesn't make the goal. Well, they've got a point, but it won't be enough to get them back into this. Disappointing kick there. have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery their thoughts have been receiving it's no wonder the Swans were starting to fall behind passes by hand Mitchell gets the free Mitchell puts his boot on it that's a nice strong mark Kennedy slams the ball to his boot he marks the ball 
kicks. Well, he gave it a shot. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young, lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in field. Handle finds Healy. He's really a bull magnet. Quick hands find the running player. Gets a handball away. Mitchell delivers a nice bump for Naismith. Jack, a good drummer. Gives it to the running man. Grundy thought he had him. And that's the half. Hawthorne, 59. Tick the Swans, 41. Stay tuned for the halftime show. What? There's no halftime show. Seriously. Let's see with the stats how both teams perform. The Swans are far behind on the scoreboard, but a neck and neck with the Hawks in the stats. Thanks for that, Richo. It's half time, and both teams will be deep in discussion at the moment. for another half of footy. You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both those methods are only temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. Luton. Mitchell claims the ball. Slams it on the boot. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. A low stabbing kick. A good mark under the circumstances. Chip kick along the wall. A mark by Grampy. Bumps the big skin. Taken by Kurgoyne. It kicks quickly. Amara takes it well. It's clear that the Hawks have been practicing their marks during the week. They've wrapped up plenty of catches, contested or not, and it's showing on the scoreboard. Lloyd marks the ball. Puts boot to goal. Strong mark there. That came off the boot with huge power. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Amara won't hit the intended target. Mitchell from behind. Slams it on the boot. Off hands. It's impossible to outplay an opponent. You can't outthink. Think about that. Duopolo will regret that. Hawthorne lead Sydney. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Swans might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Sicily gains the loose ball. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. Passes by hand. McVeigh takes advantage. Mitchell gets the ball. The ball finds its target. Grundy collects it, gives it to the running man. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. It's in his possession. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. He has the ball. Gibson gets possession. It's in his possession. Jack intercepted that well. He's approaching the goals now. Kennedy has given away a free kick. Kicks it. Great mark under pressure. Luton. Heaney catches it. That's a massive kick. Franklin looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Franklin kicks for goal. He holds his breath. Sends it home with a mighty kick. The Swans will be worrying now. Franklin will want to try and wheel around onto his favourite foot, but he's still very capable on the other. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Franklin celebrates. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce is dead straight. Nay Smith is a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cooler head so he can make the right decisions more often. He manages to intercept the bouncing ball. 
Sending it on its way, it gets the upper hand. Franklin giving away a three. It's good to leather. Strong mark by Virgil. Virgil sends one up towards the wing. Takes it well. Looks like he panicked there. Wins the hard ball. Let's have a shot at goal. Is as good as the delivery. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Patrick getting his first. The Swans don't be so desperate after that goal. I gotta say that's even a better goal the second time around. He acknowledges the crowd. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Naismith is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate McAvoy. He's got the footy in his hands. Goes by hand. Gibson again, Richard. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. No questioning whether Sydney can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. Sydney need to start kicking more direct for goal. He boots it. Good mark. Jams it on the boot now. Wins the hard ball. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Caught by McAvoy. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. Only a behind. And the points continue to pile up. That's certainly contagious. expected him to nail that. Aaliyah will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Mark there. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Hodge shoots for goal. All eyes are watching. Plenty of shots are spoiled at the last moment by efforts to add just those few more meters. Hawthorne beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 62 to 53. I would have expected him to nail that. Time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, Sydney might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. That's a mark. He doesn't want to take too long lying this shot up. He can't bring that mark down. Nate Smith passes it. He boots it. He marks the ball. Parker decides to play on. He kicks the ball. Gibson with the pick up, he scoops up the loose ball. Burgoyne mistimes the tackle. Franklin intercepted that ball. Going for goal number three. Jarningham has just shown the post. It's a behind. Two goals would change the lead in favour of Sydney. He'll be disappointed with that effort. He looks for a man on the lead. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. That had some power behind it. Solid catch. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. It's gone through for a magnificent... Behind. Sydney, no need to worry just yet. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. He looks 
Mets remain on the lead. He got the sit. Oh, what a grab. Good as this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Franklin will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. A pretty safe bet from this position. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. He passes just before he's taken down by Gibson. How cool under pressure releases in time. Mitchell with the ball. Kicks it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Hawthorne could just been so dominant in the marking contest and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. Nate Smith having no trouble taking that one. Quick hands finding the running player. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. Kennedy has the ball. Jack with the shot. That decision was not taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, it's fair to say he doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. Grundy sends one up towards the wing. Good mark by Canterbury. Slams it on the boot. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. McVeigh gets the upper hand. Picks it. Canterbury presents and takes the mark. Look, the Swans haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to keep a winning total that way. Sends it home with a huge kick. That goal could really swing the momentum in their favour. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Jack Happy. All is in readiness. The umpire has bounced the ball. McAvoy guides it. Tackle, but gets the handball off. He has the ball. He collects the loose ball. He runs for home. Parker in desperation. Goes for goal and misses. The scores are all tied up. We've got deadlock. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Parkick picks it up, is in his possession. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Franklin might struggle for this distance. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. The Swans by a point. Disappointing kick there. Kennedy wins the marking contest. Kennedy, it's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. Nate Smith has the football. Sending it on its way. Franklin catches it. Too far off to score, sure. He's looking to add another. It's going. Goes in line for goal, and the distance affects his accuracy. 
The Swans by two points. We'll be disappointed with that effort. Really assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Caught. Burgoyne sends one up towards the wing. Mills presents and takes the mark. Gets good to high. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Hodge. It's just so creative that the coach has just given him the freedom to experiment and take the game on knowing that he's just all class. Kennedy really forced to earn that mark. He boots it. Birchill catches it. Birchill sends one up towards the wing. Rioli wins the marking contest. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Kicked in a flurry. Hanabry marks. Boots it. Caught by Parker. A desperate kick there. The mark is taken by McAvoy. Dishes it off by hand. Tackle. He gets the handball off. Grundy picks it up. He has the ball. He grabs it on the run. Gibson again, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. Kennedy going for number one. Yeah, he's on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Corley is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Sydney out in front over Bawthorn. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a go. Tippett loves that. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Clean tap out of the ruck. He's got the football now. Franklin onto the ball. Mobs the pass. Puts the head down as he runs in. Gibson a good crummer. He receives the handball. Sends it on its way. Hodge catches it. Kicks. Fuopolo looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Even though Cawthorn put behind on the scoreboard, I think they'd be proud of their dominance in the marking contest, and so they should be. Sending it on its way. O'Meara with great hands. Gets good to high. The ball spills to Sicily. He has the ball. Lovely hand pass. Hits the man. Burgoyne picks it up. Jack gets the ball. It's like he has the ball on a string. Heaney picks up the loose ball. Amara, a good trummer. He's got the footy in his hands. Bruce, he's got it. You off a low. Dumps the ball. Perfect kick. Got number two for Gunston. This is edge of your seat footy. Hawthorne need to play on at all costs now and start getting some more running goals on the board. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Smiles all round. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Here's the bounce. McAvoy nicely outclassing Naismith. Naismith can get a job done for his team by tightening the reins on the key playmakers for the opposition. Naismith is really good at getting up in the ruck. But his directional taps need some more work. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. Canterbury gets the loose ball. McVeigh put the ball, gives it to the running man. Jack heads in for the goals. That's a mark. The spiralling torpedo from Trulli. And the mark will be paid. Canterbury going for number two. He's put his all into that, but it won't give him the six points. The Swans by three points. Disappointing kick there. Look for a quick option here. A pinpoint pass is the key. There's been a lot to enjoy in the 
third quarter. The scores at Sydney, 71, Hawthorne, 68. If Sydney can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a foregone conclusion. So it's just about the last roll of the dice if Hawthorne contend to make any inroads to this deficit. Let's have a look at the stats. Sydney are dominating the scoreboard, but their stats don't reflect it. Thanks for sharing that with us, Richard.
this match is underway. It's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. Squeezes out a handball. Franklin with the ball. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. There should be enough time to close that margin. Disappointing kick there. Someone's a break hand. He's ready to bring it back into play. She's running hot, Richard. He's been outstanding all match, then. Sicily gains possession through the interception. Hodge close it. Clear as day. He kicks quickly. Great mark. Choose to kick it. He's clearly been shopping the plan as a loss. Kick the goal by Gunston. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. I hope there are no guys down there looking for a sample after this guy. He'll be disappointed with that effort. Aaliyah has a fair kick on him. I expect him to loose this down the middle. A great effort. Stabs the ball. And the mark will be paid. Sends it into the open paddock. She's running hot, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Sicily finds his man on the move. In another possession. Handballs to the running man. Gunston shoots. So close, but just to behind. Too many behinds on the board. Put the hooks. Disappointing kick there. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Grundy takes a contested mark. It comes off the side of the boot. McVeigh with great hands. Sending it on its way. Mitchell marks it. Kicks into the forward line. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. McAvoy gains possession through the interception. Grundy gets it out of the congestion. Chip kick along the way. No contest for that one. Parky kicks. Great grab. Jack with a chance if he keeps a cool head. Too far out to score, sure. He's kicking on about a 30-degree angle, which could prove challenging. Intercepted. I think he just wants attention. He receives the handball. He swarms by eight points. I gotta say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Tippett knows that was something special. Umpire has the ball, ready for the center bounce. Naismith directs it down. Jack picks up the loose ball. Handballs to the running man. He gathers the loose ball. Yet another possession. Handball short. Clean pick up by Rowan. Hanabrick making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. The Swans have scored the last two goals. Sydney to the ascendancy over the Hawks, leading the match 84 to 70. The Swans were taking their time and looking for the safe marking option in the forward line. Most of their goal production is coming from set shots, and it's paying off for them. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Celebration time after that one for Canterbury. 
The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Naismith got the hit out. The ball in the hands of Kennedy. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Three for a point. The Swans by 15 points. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time Hawthorne stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. Smith really forced to earn that mark. He kicks the ball. Hodge takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. A great mark under pressure. He slams that on the boot. The mark will be paid. Sicily going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short. Tactically, this will. Delivers it very neatly and nicely. Gathers the ball. He has the ball. Mitchell picks up the loose ball. Randy for the short hand pass. He scoops the ball off the ground. Sicily onto the ball. With the ball now. Gives it to the running man. Boots it. Caught by Franklin. Can't keep on the lead. No, it's not there. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So that's on. Nice interception. Hackman runs past and gets the ball. If he was a goal for it, I think by now he'd be using the reverse of the lapping ball. Behind starting to add up. Put the swans. Disappointing kick there. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. He picks it up. Hodge comes away with the ball. He grabs it on the run. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. He plays on now. Gets the ball. It's another ball. Hawks won't be happy to see that scoreboard. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Might have to kick it to himself. Great ground. Don't take too long long enough to go. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Hodge taking a chance at goal. Hodge and this is good. I can't believe it. It's a goal. That's two now. He's playing well. Boy, did they ever need that. The Hawks have just been poor at reading the ball off the packs. They need to get back to basics and try and generate some forward running carry. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Congratulated by his teammates. All is in readiness. The bounce straight down. McAvoy with the mighty fist. Able to grab it on the half volley. Dishes it off by hand. Heaney gains possession through the interception. The ball bounced favorably for Hewitt. He gains possession. Rowan on the ball at the moment. Mitchell unable to hold on. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That the point. Franklin might struggle for this distance. An ideal position to be kicking from. Gets the ball. Sydney in front. He'll be disappointed with that offer.
Quilly gets set to kick it back in. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Gets a handball away. Hodge on the ball at the moment. Sicily is streaming past and gets the footy. Naismith has had plenty of it, Richard. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. Lobs the handball. Hewitt with a big bump to Gibson. Picked by Mitchell. And the mark will be paid. Even though the Hawks get behind on the scoreboard, I think they'd be proud of their dominance in the marking contest. And so they should be. A great mark under pressure. Grundy picks up the ball. Hand passes to the running man. Handballs from the tackle. Handballs from the tackle. Smith comes away with the ball. Finding the running player. Mills. Thought he had him. Nice interception. Catch by Grundy. Gets good to Weber. Takes it well. Nice drop back. Great mark under pressure. McAvoy sends the ball on its way. Smith with a huge leap. Smith, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable, and he requires a watchful eye at times. Smith puts his boot on it. He marks the ball. Sending it on its way. A clean pickup. Gets a handball away. Handballs. Bodge making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. Took up a goal for the Hawks. Bodge has got a habit of pulling it out when it matters most. It's a sick. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. His face says it all. The Rocks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball is bounced. McAvoy with the mighty fist. Good use of the body by McVay. Takes possession. Naismith on the ball at the moment. Right. Have that, mate. Virgil gets the kick off before his pole axe by Mills. Burgoyne gets the kick off before his pole axe by Grundy. Nice interception. Smith finds his man on the move. He controls the bouncing ball. McVay beats the hand pass out. The up has had enough. It's a ball up. Punched by McAvoy. The bounce straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Intercepted. Sicily with the interception. He lays off the pass. Smith clearly doesn't get enough attention. And the mark will be played. Kicks horribly. Takes that one stronger. He lays off the pass. Grundy again, Richard. You're right, Dennis. He's an absolute ball magnet. It's like he has the ball on his string. Mitchell not quick enough. He sneaks out the pass. That was a gutsy effort. Burgoyne puts the ball in the hands of Faith. Smith with the kick. Great mark under pressure. Hewitt. He's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. He boots it. Birchall claims the ball. Nice bit of power then. Kennedy marks the ball. Boots it. Takes it well. Keeps it close to the ground. Great mark. Bilboin passes to no one in particular. Gets boot to leather. Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Great mark. Chip kick along the way. Rioli claims it. Rioli has his feet firmly on the ground and is just a great leader around the club. He kicks the ball. McAvoy with the catch. This kick could really change things. No, oh, he's missed it. Lots of points now for Hawthorne. Hawthorne have the edge over Sydney in this match. Disappointing kick there. A 
Leah waiting to bring it back into play. McAvoy has a right set of hands. Fantastic now. McAvoy with the shot. Gunston gets the upper hand. It's a beautiful angle right where you need it. He takes the shot. Gunston with his strong throws. That's his third. Back in front goes the Hawks. Well, put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. He loves it. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Good tap from McAvoy. Able to grab it on the half volley. The balls come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. Let's see if they can go on with us from now. Nice goal from McVay. The Swans don't be so desperate after that goal. McVay can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. McVeigh loves that. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Umpire bounces the ball. McAvoy with the punch. Grundy controls. He gains possession. Hewitt has had plenty of it, Richo. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. <gasps> he just can't get out of the action. Gunston chucks the ball away. Puopolo dishes it off to the running man. Tackles. No, that's just giving the ball away. Aaliyah gets the ball. Hewitt comes away with the ball. She's running hot, Richo. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. He shrugs the tackle off there. Hits the running man. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. He sneaks away from an uncontested man. Take that, he says. Great goal. Sydney in front. Hackley is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight wall. He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. Hackley knows that was something special. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. McAvoy directs it down. Smith comes away with the ball. Hand pass by Jack. Well, a high tackle count more often than not suggests that the team with the most tackles are where the ball isn't, and that's been true for Cawthorn. He picks it up cleanly. He receives the ball. He's blocked it. Crawley hand passes the ball. Hewitt picks up the loose ball. Tip it. Put his head down. Another power for Sydney. The Swans with the advantage as they lead Hawthorne 100 to 90. I would have expected him to nail that. Crawley waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Waiting for the final siren now. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Penetrating hand pass. Now back to Franklin. What a valiant effort from the Swans. What are your thoughts on the match, Richard? The misery is over for the Hawks. They really do need to reassess and figure out what's going wrong. 
Is it the tactics, the lineup, or even the talent at their disposal? They need to turn their fortunes around real soon. They cannot afford to put in performances like this one. With the final siren, Sydney played Hawthorne 100 to 90. That's all from us. Thanks for joining us and thank you, Richo. See you again next game. It was great being here, Dennis. I can't wait for the next match. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce.